Alright guys, I'm going to show you how to commute change making a program in Java. This will probably be one of my bigger programs So that I've made so far. So import, oops, import the Java scanner once again. Alright, so, um, yeah, I gotta go to work in 30 minutes, that sucks, but save as compute change dot job. I think I pronounced it wrong uh, when I started the video. But anyway, once it's saved, it'll be all colorful like it's supposed to be, and that's how I like it. But, alright, now you wanna make the class. Compute change with your bracket and then do the public static void main. Alright, so once you have that, you can create the scanner make sure you don't have any typos for some reason um, I like to do typos a lot but it just depends on like how much I'm concentrating like right now that was pretty loud that scared the, that scared the crap out of me I'm on Facebook, but yeah, um, when I talk, I it's hard for me to concentrate a lot, so I do some typos. So bear with me. All right, so here you're gonna wanna type in system dot out dot print, and then in your colons you're gonna want to add in like you can say whatever you want so enter uh... you just type in enter an amount is what i'm going to say and then you're going to enter and create a double so double amount equals input dot next double so yours should look like that right there all right, so now remaining amount. Uh, I got an itch in my eye. Equals amount times one hundred. All right, so yours should look like this. All right, so all right, so once you have that, you're gonna want to create a number of one dollars because this is gonna. Oops, I forgot to en hit enter. This will commute change as in like if you're working for a company and somebody, it's like if they give you ten dollars and the item was like three dollars, how many ones, how many quarters, and all that to give them. So once you have that, you're gonna to want to go with. I'm gonna actually enter it one more time, make it more spaced out. This is the number of one dollars equals remaining amount, and the divide by one hundred. All right, so now you're going to want to create a remaining amount is equal to remaining amount percentage sign, which means the remainder. So percentage sign 100. Now I would hit enter twice to space it out so each of them are on their own. I'm going to look this over. Alright, yep. 
it's looking good so far. Now I'm going to want to do quarters. So I did dollars, and now I'll be doing quarters. So I'll do exactly what I did there, but instead do number of I spaced it. Oops, quarters is equal to can't type right now. Remaining amount divide by 25. <clears throat> now I'm going to want to do remaining amount equals remaining amount remainder of 25 all right now you're going to want to do dimes so you're just going to do the same thing but this time do number of dimes is equal to remaining amount divide by dimes is 10 cents so it would be 10 and then remaining amount equal to remaining amount remainder of 10 so now you're going to want to do the same thing but this time nickels so number of nickels equals to or equals remaining amount divide by 5 and then remaining amount equals remaining amount remainder of 5 all right so now you're going to want to do pennies so for this one you just do the same thing but number of pennies and remaining amount once again alright for this one though you don't have to type in uh, anything besides besides that alright now you're going to want to have it print out on the line so system.out.println so this will print it out to the person using your program and remember it is, it's always good to make notes if you haven't watched my previous videos and you're not good at programming you can type in slash slash and just do hello remember I'll just, uh, I spelled it wrong anyway and then you just type in that the, uh, that the slash slash just makes the program skip over that part that's just notes for if you got fired or you moved up whatever hopefully you moved up in your company or whatever and somebody's got to go back and fix something in your program or add something and they so they know what you were doing at that when you coded that what you were thinking or what that does pretty much just so they know it's for or for you to remember okay. alright so basically just type in what I have typed in here. Oops. Actually, um, I gotta change these. I mean, yeah, I put the wrong slash over here. It's actually that one. So same with here is T. Now this right here is the important part to make sure this matches up this part right here matches up with this part up here so what I do is just highlight and then uh, notepad plus plus will highlight that one if they're the exact same match so we're good there and now you're gonna want to remember to add space a space here at the beginning or at the end of this last one because you don't want to all like clustered together I guess uh, you'd say Alright, so this is probably the biggest program I've done so far in my videos, but I mean most of most mostly every video is going to be a bit bigger than the previous one. Also, if you want to make sure these are the exact same match, you could always copy and paste. 
but that might take a little bit of extra time or who knows if you're like me and you occasionally do a lot of typos depends on like how fast you're trying to move like I'm not really trying to move too fast right now I still got time I work in like 20 some minutes but well is when I leave but if you're like on a deadline and you got like minutes to get this done or whatever and you're going fast and you're doing a lot of typos it might be good just to copy and paste alright so now we're on to dimes and again you can copy and paste not copy and paste but just highlight it and it will highlight both of them it's, if it's the same match alright so now here it's dimes Now in a program you're if you're not like paying 100% attention like what I am right now I'm talking it's really hard for me to do that so you will make errors it's we're human everybody makes an error or two but luckily the compiler will help you on finding out the error most of the time I mean once you get into a more advanced programs you're gonna want to put 100% of your focus into making that program because if you make an error and you can't find it and the compiler doesn't tell you exactly where it is or misses the error and the program is just not working right or the way you want it to and the compiler thinks it's the way you want it to it's not going to say there's an error so yeah um, so it is a good idea to have 100% focus so now we're adding in the pennies there we go alright so now that I have all this done we're pretty good I'm gonna go ahead and copy this part right here you don't need to though if you already saved it compute change.java then that's good All right now you're gonna need a run and a compiler I'm gonna edit mine for my last video and just scrap that change this if you don't know how to make a compiler just uh, pause the movie right now or the video and copy this down but I have it right here I say this in every video you don't need to pause in a compiler but it will not show your errors and make sure it's whatever you want to name it dot bat dot bat and then you just run the compiler and there's an error and remaining amount equals remaining amount so there's a typo I see it right there now I don't know which one this is okay this is a dollar one now see there that just shows how easy it is to make a typo. I missed an I. So hopefully that's the only error I did. And remaining, uh, I, yeah, another typo right there. That was in the five cents. So hopefully we're good. Oh, what the fuck? God damn, I made a lot of typos in here. I did another typo in the same one. I forgot the I N. See, I have. I, I think I'm gonna. What I'm gonna start doing is making the video and then talking over the video so I can like concentrate 100% on here. So there we go. Uh, if it says press any key to continue, then we're good. Now here you're gonna want to edit the run again, change it to compute compute change, and save it. Make sure it's saved as dot bat, and then run it. It will say enter an amount. I'll just say like my product was one hundred and fifty six dollars and forty five cents it's gonna say one hundred and fifty six dollar bill one quarter one dime one nickel and four pennies now this doesn't look very pretty if you run it and it just says enter amount what I like to do is go up here and enter a colon and oops I just tried to open something all right save and recompile it looks good run it and it just makes it look a little better thanks for watching guys I have tons more I'll show you uh, hopefully I'm not gonna mess up as much but it's hard for me to concentrate so I'll probably 
start trying to make the video and then talking over it. But anyway, thanks for watching and subscribe.